ready to get started. Uh, we are going to talk about Canva today. Just quick show of hands. How many of you have used Canva before? Okay. Anybody feel like, wow, I could be up there teaching this? Okay. Well, great. Just wanted to kind of get a read on the room here. Um, and then she's going to, you're going to put those in yeah. up there. All right. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. My name is Amy Sylvester, and right behind me, you can see Mr. Pablo Diaz. And off to the side, off screen right now, is Brandon Choi. So we're happy to be here from the IIS department. And also feel free to uh, throw questions at us if you're on the webinar and in person as well. So... I will get us going here in just a second. It's been a while since I've done the whole Zoom thing, so apologies on that. Yeah. There we go. All right. So I'm going to give my seat up to Pablo, who's going to talk about just how to set up a Canva for Education account. And that's something that you're going to want to do because it opens up basically a pro account for free. So you'll get all the bells and whistles. And with Canva, you would really love to have all the bells and whistles. If you have, um, even if you have your phone with you, you can go ahead and go in the app and sign up with this. Or if you have your laptop or an iPad with you, feel free to join in with that. And with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Pablo. Thank you, Amy. Um, for everybody here, welcome. And everybody online, welcome. Uh, today's version of this Canva for Education is gonna be more of a what's possible kind of thing. Um, so just follow along kind of a light day for you. We will have the link to everything I'm about to talk about for to you. So then you can do this at home if you want on your computer. That way you can just see it on a bigger screen. And it's actually a little bit a better experience when you're on your computer. Um, if you're on, if you have a computer here, great. If not, no big deal. Just follow along. We're just going to, again, show you what's possible in Canva. And with only 45 minutes, we're definitely not going to take a deep dive we're just gonna breeze over a lot of the really cool um, templates and things that Canva already offers, but also a lot of the magic AI that they offer in Canva, which are really a lot of super powerful and a lot of uh, the things that are already out there. And if you've heard of ChatGPT, if you've used that, it's all the rage right now. A lot of those things are embedded in Canva. Okay, so without further ado, I'm gonna show some slides again uh, you don't have to do these things right now. We're going to have these for you uh, for the presentation on how to do this. And this is the pro version. So it's called the educator uh, version. Uh, so what you're going to want to do on your computer, because uh, you can try to do it on your phone if you want, but just follow along here. You'll see a little cog that's circled there. You want to click on that cog once you sign in with your MyFSD account. It's important that you do it with your MyFSD account because the other, your regular account or personal account, private account will not work for this, okay? Uh, so this is to get the pro version. Then you're gonna wanna click on billing and plans and then register for free. Then if we go to the next, uh, claim your Canva for education, you just click that purple uh, button there. And then say no thanks to this, because a lot of people want to sign up with the school. They might be, even teachers mess this up a little bit, and we've messed this up, so that's why we went through this. Just don't sign up for a school at all. All right, just say no thanks. And then you continue. And then you can say, I don't teach at a school, that's fine. And then continue. And then it's going to give you all of these little confetti on there and says, welcome. And what... The key will be is that everything off to the left, which normally says pro, in this case, we'll have a little, uh, what's the little graduation hat? 
And so that's letting you know that now you went from Canva Pro to Canva Education, which has 99% of everything that you'll need to use all of the things within Canva Pro. Okay? I know that was fast, a lot of information. Again, we're going to have those slides for you both online and here personally uh, that's in person, but that's how to sign up for Canva Pro Education account. So with that, I'll turn it back over to Amy. And those of you that are here in person, if you need a little support with that, if you raise your hand, Brandon or Pablo will come over and try to help you get signed on with that as well. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the just the basics of Canva. And so let me go into yet another screen here so that we can. No, not that one. There we go. All right. So when you go into Canva, you're going to see something like this. And it's going to ask you, well, what do you want to design today? So one of the things that can be really helpful with Canva is the ability to make flyers quickly and also make them look great. And so you'll notice you have a lot of choices here or over on the side, you'll see something that says templates. And here it can you can always put in like, I want a template for, you can see there's posters and whatnot for teachers since that's the uh, one that I've gone into. Even simple things for teachers in terms of that. Uh, recently I was looking up things for bullying. And so I can go through here and say up at the top where it says search thousands of templates, bullying. And it's going to give me the rabbit hole, right? Like truly you could spend the next day just looking at this one set of posters, but just for us, I'm going to go ahead and choose this poster and it'll say, do you want to customize this? And as Pablo had mentioned earlier, with us having Pro, it gives you a lot of different choices of things that you can do. Um, one of the things you'll notice is this Try Magic Design. We're going to look into that a little bit later. So I'm just going to click on the template itself. I'm going to close this for right now. So you'll notice when I click that, it put a purple box around here. So this is where kind of the fun can start. If I decide, gosh, I really don't want a white background. Let me see what it looks like with that. It's that simple for you to be able to change those colors. Um, let's say I'm like, oh, I don't like those guys being that big. It's as easy as just clicking it and changing it around. Um, you'll notice off to the left, there's this toolbar that gives you a lot of different choices. So if I look at elements, that's where I can add in shapes, all sorts of things. So I can again say, well, I wanna add a heart to this. And then it gives me so many different options in terms of what I can add to that. So let's just say, I'm gonna go with this classic guy here. And then again, I can make it big, I can make it small, and I can move it to wherever I want it to go. Other choices include adding a text box. So let's say you want to add your school name in there. You can go ahead and, and really you can choose any of these because you can always adjust the size. So since we're at pack drive right now, I'm just going to try. And again, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller move it all around. And then you can have choices in terms of, gosh, I want it to have like a different look to it. Then you can go ahead and type over that as well. If there are things that you want to put in there specifically, like a photo from, you know, from something that's going on with your school, or there's a map that you want to put in, all you need to do is click uploads. And then with this, with the upload files, you can search your Google Drive, you can search photos. So anything that you might wanna put in there, 
you can go ahead and find. So you can see these are all different uploads that we had put in there for various reasons. All right, any questions so far with any of this? All right, and then there is a draw element as well. So if it's one of those things where I did have a map, and I wanted to say, hey, look at this. I can easily draw an arrow in there. In elements, I could choose an arrow that looks much better though than the one that I just drew. So the nice thing too with Canva is that it's auto saving all of this. So if I go back to home, you're gonna see, and you, it won't show the changes right away, but you'll see all of the things that I've been working on here. So I could go ahead and click this up and it's going to open up where I was before. So that's the basics of just Canva. You can create any type of template with this though. You can create a poster. You can create an Instagram post. If you're the social media person, you can create a presentation with that. So now the next thing we're going to jump into is making your job even easier in terms of creation, and that's Magic Studio. And so Magic Studio is Canva's AI answer to almost everything. Like they just keep adding more and more in there. And so part of what it's doing is that it is giving you access to ChatGPT, to Dolly, but also to some features that they have. And if this is of interest to you, I will tell you, and again, major rabbit hole, is that as you scroll down, you'll see there's a lot of different options you can go into. And we're gonna take a look at a video here in just a moment, but Magic Switch, you created this great, great poster, but now you wanna make it be a blog post or an email, it's going to do that for you. I know, right? Um, <laughs> Go ahead and do this and then because I got another one for you. It's going to take a, your poster that you've created in English and it will translate it into another language for you. So there's some really nice features that live in Magic Studio. Um, plus, you can add some bells and whistles to it. One of the features that, you know, if you haven't been into ChatGPT, but that is also here in Canva, it can write an email for you. So you're trying to craft that email to those first grade parents about, don't forget that your kids are going to the zoo and they should bring a lunch and they should bring a jacket. You give it the basics and it's gonna create a very nice email for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at this video. And I'm gonna hope that we've got it so that we can hear it at home. So even if this was like something you said no, my find only six so that says a lot. I 
Yeah. Huh? <laughs> We're all awake now, right? All right, so with Magic Studio, there are a lot of different options for you to explore. And you can see there's things for presentation, so it can create a slide deck for you. So as I mentioned, Magic Write is one of them that I think is extremely useful. So if we wanted to try Magic Write, it opens up a document. And so I'm just going to use my first grade experience, uh, example that I said before, but write an email to first grade parents reminding and then the more you can kind of tell it the better it's going to be obviously reminding And I'm going to say make it friendly. All right. So what I told it was, I think so. Uh oh. Well, what I had told it, but now it looks like I erased it when I tried to make it bigger for you is to write an email to parents. So let's just say, sorry about this, you get to type, watch me type again. And the last thing I did was to say, make it friendly and exciting. So if you tell the tone that it wants, so if it was gonna be professional, I could say, please write a professional email. If it's gonna be um, serious or if it's gonna be conciliatory. And then all I do is hit generate. And then it's gonna just think for a moment. And then here's my email. So even though it took me a little bit longer to type it, like typing those few ideas in there and then it goes. And then you can obviously personalize it because you're going to want to put the date in there and things like that. And maybe you wouldn't say that, those words. But what I love about it is that you can see that it's took my idea about tone. How nice is that? We can't wait to see the excitement on our student faces. Right, so it'll take whatever you tell in terms of tone and adjust it that way. And, and just remember with AI, anything you're doing with AI to always check it, don't take it as 100% fact because uh, AI does hallucinate. Like I know it sounds funny, but it does. And it just, if it can't figure it out, it'll just put information in there. So just make sure, but it does a lot of the work for you at the very front end. And at least as a brainstorming partner, it certainly works that way as well. So just make sure to always check your AI generated uh, information. So one of the other things that's kind of fun in terms of if you were going to have to create a flyer or a social media post is this one where I can take text and create an image with it. And so with that, um, could you give me an animal? Sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> a bear, okay. And could you give me like an article of clothing? A hat, any special kind of hat? All right, love it. And would you mind giving me a location? Mm -hmm. Any place? At, at a park? All right. And so we're going to go ahead and see what happens with generate image. 
And this one will take a while. It's kind of thinking about what it wants to create for us. And again, this is one where the more description you can give, the better it's going to be. So it gives us some choices, right? So we can say, I like this one, little cartoony, or um, this one personally speaks to me. So we could choose that one. Or if I decided that I didn't want to, um, I wanted it to look more like a photo or make it look realistic, or I wanted it to be an anime style, I could say, do it in anime style. Uh, but just so we can kind of see it better, we're gonna go ahead and... <laughs> And there's our image, ready to go. <laughs> it's like a thanks for your help, by the way, because that's way better than I would have created. All right. So as I mentioned to you earlier, we can do magic switch. And so this would be where I can, well, there's nothing here. So this isn't the best one. Let me come back to it. But I could make it be a different size. Let's go ahead and add. We're going to be having a teddy their picnic. And with this text, I can always make it bigger. I can change the font. Let's go back to text. We're going to make it be January 2024. First time I typed that. All right. So now I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to do magic switch and I'm going to ask it to translate. And we're going to ask it to translate that into Spanish. Oh. It'll just take a moment. And so then it's translated my teddy bear picnic into Spanish and then because it will be different words, you're gonna to have to obviously move it around. And we've had great success with that in terms of like people who do speak Spanish way better than I do to say, yeah, that's exactly what it should say. So now I've got my teddy bear picnic and the date. Can we try something? Uh, just delete all the text for right now. Uh, can you click on the image and just click on the image, edit photo. So we clicked on the image, edit photo. We're going to remove the background. So sometimes you just want to insert the image, like the main focus or subject of the image. You can select the image, go to edit photo, and then go ahead and do BG remover, background remover. Which is great. So instead of having to go out and use remove BG, it's all embedded here in Canva. And does a pretty good job of it. And now I have my teddy bear all by itself. You can move it around, resize it, and put it in another place if you want. So then we could go ahead and make the teddy bear picnic be all on its own. That's a good one. All right, so let's hop on out of there. I'm gonna go back into Magic Studio. And so, as I mentioned, you can go down and um, do like you can spend hours on all of these different videos. If I wanted to go into, if you've heard of Dolly, which is part of ChatGPT, and use that as your image generator, one of the things that's nice about this is that there is some safety protocols in place, so you can feel good about where you're going with it. If you, once you have become a little bit more um, comfortable with Canva and with all of that, 
and you don't want to keep hopping back into Magic Studio to find everything, you'll notice over here there's something that says app. And so if you click on that, it's a little mind blowing as well. There are a lot of different options that you can use that then will use, most of them use AI, but some of them are just to make your job a little bit easier in terms of giving you easy access to say your Google Drive or your Google Photos. But for example, with Emoji Artist, I can go ahead again and come up with, I want uh, Martin Luther King. I'm not really sure if this one's going to work or not, because we'll see. Yep. Oh. No, it's not going to work that way. Huh. Let me get rid of this. Yesterday, I spent a lot of time, way more than I should have, creating really funny emojis while I was watching the football games. How about your presentation? I'm gonna go back to the bear. Again, it's taking a moment to think. And so it gave us a completely different emoji or that we could now use. So we could use a for almost anything, right? Poster, uh, sending your friends a funny text. Brandon or Pablo, anything else that you wanna kind of dive into? Uh, just go back to Magic Studio. And scroll down just a couple of So just at the top, go back towards the top. So at the top, you'll see that um, you have Magic Design, magic design for presentations and magic design for video. A lot of these times in, in all of these, they guide you through it. This is what I like about just going to Magic Studio uh, first because a lot of these are templated. And so they guide you through exactly what you uh, need to do. So let's go down a little bit and go to Magic uh, Magic Switch. So it takes a little bit of time, but I think it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, try Magic Switch. So it's already gonna be templated, like I said. It already has, so scroll up just a little bit. Oh, sorry. Oh, so this is the presentation. So let's let's do this. Let's go ahead and uh, select transform from the left side. Is it there? I, I think you have to have. It no, it should be there. Uh, click on. Click on the doc. Click on the doc. That first page, I guess. Same as me. No. Okay, let's go back. Why is here we go? And so here. We're going to transform this presentation into a into a doc, right? And so a document, kind of like in um, on Google Docs or Word Doc. So go ahead and put blog post. So this time we're going to write a blog post from a presentation we created. Let's just say. So write a blog post. So this is going to take a little bit of time, but the idea will be that it'll take the best highlights and information and logos and anything else you have in there and try to create a blog post for you. So if you're writing blog posts or doing anything, you saw there was other things you could do with it. So you don't have to click blog posts. I just think this one's a pretty cool representation of what it can do. Um, so if, we, if I could dance, I'd dance for you uh, while this is going. 
So sometimes it does take a little longer. It, it all depends on how much information you have in your presentation, let's just say. Again, you can create, uh, we'll show you how to create presentations in a flip of a coin in a second while this is going. We could open another page too, more than likely, but let's just wait there. Okay, so while we're waiting, if you guys want to write this down and you guys online as well, um, I made a bit.ly or Brandon made a bit.ly for us. Um, so it's a shortcut to that, how to get your pro account. All right, it's all the directions. So if you wanna write this down or type it in, uh, we'll have it up here if you don't hear it the first time around. And online, it's it's a bit.ly. It's B-I-T dot L-Y, repeated, B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash Canva. This is all lowercase, by the way. C-A-N-V-A, -A, Canva. ED for education. So that's C A N B A E D A C C T. So B I T dot L Y forward slash C A N B A E D A C C T. And that should get you to that presentation that'll have all the directions on it, how to get your uh, free uh, education account. Okay. Oh, and so magically, while we're uh, talking, here is the blog post or a document really that you can see that it converted a presentation with a bunch of slides that had a bunch of information in it and magically created this blog post. So it's pretty cool in a sense that you didn't have to do any extra work, right? You didn't have to template it and put all the information in. If, now, obviously you wanna go and look over it and make sure that it has all the information correctly how you want it, but if it does, then you're good to go and you can just make any specific changes that you wanna to make to it. All right, so let's go, and I talked about making uh, presentations real quickly. If you go back to Magic Studio, and if, right there, Magic Design for presentation. So you can try Magic Design, again, it kind of templated for you, and then you can really just use five or more words to describe something. So let's let's think of a presentation. Think of something you'd like to know more about. So I'd like to create a presentation on somebody, anybody. Does anybody have an idea of like, oh, here's a presentation. Okay, okay, let's do a Listen. presentation on Abraham Lincoln. I think it's five or more words, so. And let's see what it comes up with. I think that's five words. And again, this is something where it's great to be specific. So like what I might create for a first grade would look different than maybe I would create for fifth grade or if it was something to go with uh, the Sunday message for parents. So I'm just going to say. Perfect. I think you need to choose a style. Okay. Yeah. I think keywords is fine. So they know you're right. That's a great question. Um, sometimes it's just, it just works better if you tell it what you want it to do. But I think in this case, because it's in the presentation tapping studio, that it will just create a presentation. Beautiful. Yes. All right, so now it's created this slide deck about Abraham Lincoln. Yeah, shift in vertical. I think, you, are you so still here's a, in? yeah, get rid of this here. There we go. So a little bit of history. Little casual with Abe's uh, accomplishment summary. <laughs> so, yeah. So, as Pablo had mentioned, though, this is definitely something that you would want to go back and maybe change some of the things, or perhaps you're not really happy with the way the color scheme looks. You can always change that as well. 
And then if I wanted to go back and translate that or put it into an email or something different, then that's where Magic Switch comes in again. Go back to Magic Studio. Maybe do letters or choose anything. All right, how about, you wanna do magic more? Do whatever you want. I love the tab. I have a lot of tools. I know, it's a little. Yeah, let's do, you can do magic morph. And just before we go back into it, this where you see this little pro, that's why you want the education account. Because if you were in the free account, it would not let you use these some of these tools. So one of the things when you go into all of these through that magic studio is that it does give you the opportunity to just try it and they walk you through it. So for example, if I wanted to that white star doesn't look as great as what I want it to be. Maybe I want to make it 3D. And you can see it says, right, milky, what is it? Line, oh, that's matte, great. balloon. I always I mean, go on my own, uh, sorry. It doesn't follow the rules. I don't follow the rules. Either. I go my own way. So I select the white star and I'm supposed to write <laughs> milky. Yeah, do as you're told I know. by Tampa. Because it's more fun to go on your own way, right? That's where you get the bear wearing the hat. And... and then when you hit magic more, it thinks for a minute. And again, it'll give you four options. So you can say, I like this one. I don't like that one. almost there. So then I can also tell it to create again. If I hit create again, it's going to give me four other options. So this will work with elements, which we looked at before. You can do this with um, certain letters. Just for the interest of time, we'll go ahead and choose that one. And then it'll, you can. I believe you can delete the other one. And then put that one in. And again, you can twist it. You can make it bigger, smaller. Magic. It's magic. Right. So we have about seven minutes left. Brandon, is there anything in? Yeah. Are there any other questions? I might have covered some. Did everyone, did anyone check the bit to see if it works? It worked. <laughs> That's good. Are there any questions? There were no questions. Okay. All right. So since we have a moment or two, any thoughts of like, gosh, what would it look like if we, if I wanted to create whatever it might be, a poster, a email? What is one thing you're thinking of creating or have used in the past? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> um, creating level um, certificates uh, to oh. uh, like- uh, Perfect. In, in, uh, you know, yeah, so you could type certificates. So then, let's, well, when I just even was reading certificate, so you can see like it gives me some choices that I can uh, choose from. So let's choose one. And then what happens is then you can use the magic AI tools to let's say to put that bear or something appropriate that would fit for even that particular student or person, right? That maybe they're into playing baseball. So you, you know, a bat and a field or what have you. 
because these are just the built-in ones from Canva. So we haven't even, this is not even an AI tool. This is just the, it's just the template, and then you can edit it within the video. You can add like a pack red dolphin face. Personalize. <laughs> Exactly. And and with any of the elements that are, even if you didn't want to do the AI part, you can go in and change any of them just by clicking on them. But you'll see that it's asking me, gosh, do you want to use Magic Right with that? Yes. We put it on this. We can pick up. So then if I wanted to, I can personalize it by typing the kids' names in there. Um, if I wanted to make a bunch of these for different kids, I just keep hitting up here. There's some tools, it's a little hard to see, but I can just duplicate that page over and over again. Yeah. Um, I was going to post these as stories um, on uh, uh, Instagram. No. Uh, Facebook? Mojo, a dojo, a dojo. Oh, okay. Animated. You should be able to animate different parts of it. So let's see if we can. And then we go up here and then it can, you can have different choices and you'll notice that since I've got that highlighted, it's going to show me what I could do with it. And you can highlight different things and animate different parts of it or all of it, just not at, I don't think at the same time. So if I, maybe you um, grouped it all and, and selected it all at the same time, potentially. We can make it the existing. So I can make that come on. And so as soon as they enter in there, then that's the way it's going to do. You can adjust it so that it's, A little faster, a little slower. It is cool, right? It's the little things. It's it is the little things that make you happy, and you'll notice up here that it says that I've chosen tumble. And just one of the final things: you always in the right hand. Sorry. Sorry, in the right hand bottom corner of any yeah. If you go in there, you'll see the little magic. Uh, there he is down there in the right hand corner. Hover over him. So he's just your little personal assistant, always there. If you click on it, click on it. Mm -hmm. uh, it allows, it just gives you a little bit more information or things that it's suggested for this actual template, but you can write something up top, search anything. Um, I don't know, because I said baseball bat, just put that on there. Perhaps this student enjoys baseball. And then you can just include that really quickly. Instead of going over to elements at the top uh, left side of the screen, where that you can find a lot of different elements uh, as well to include in your templates. So if I put baseball bat over here. You get very similar type stuff. It's awesome. Maybe even more specific. We can try. Sometimes those are copyrighted, so they might or not come out. But you can try. If you can't put Harry Potter, but you still put it. You never know. You might get LA. Maybe not. Well, you got Dodger Stadium. <laughs> yeah, probably logos wouldn't be in there, but it's a good question. But if you had a photo of something from Dodger Stadium that you'd either scraped off the internet or in your personal photos, you can go ahead and upload it and then you'd be able to, to do it that way. All right, any final questions? That is our time for today. We appreciate you joining us this morning and happy new year to everybody. Are there any uh, questions, final questions? All right, well, thank you very much Super. online and here in person for joining us today. Appreciate it, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh.